Hey guys, it's Jay. I had a friend of mine reach out to me and ask me about personal development books and what uh, I would recommend reading if you're just starting off. And two books that I would recommend is The Compound Effect and The Slide Edge. These kind of go hand in hand. Um, these are applicable immediately. They're an easy read and it has visuals in it and it's applicable. I can't even say the word. I, I need to read some more applicable applicable to your life right now and that's what makes these books compelling is that a lot of these books will just they will open up your mind and give you knowledge and the more knowledge you have the the I can't even speak right now the greater the ability you have to succeed and overcome adversity because you have more knowledge and knowledge is power you've heard this you know all throughout your you know growing up um, I've never been much of a reader um, ever until recently and being in the army you know the Army Chief of Staff has a reading list. All these commanders have reading lists. They're always telling you, you know, you got to read for your professional development. Well, reading sucks. I hate reading. Um, but some of the most accomplished commanders, people that I wanted to be like, were had always said, you need to read. You need to read. So uh, one, one of my recent commanders, who I hold in really high regards, always said, you've got to be a voracious reader. So I, you know, every time that he would um, recommend a book, I, I picked it up and, and I would read it and, and read it. I can't even speak. You know, I probably need to read some more books, read some more books, become more learned. Um, but this was the first book that he had us read, uh, The Starfish and the Spider. It's basically about leadership and organizations. And it was great. It was, it was applicable to what I was doing. Um, another book I read I, uh, that I would highly recommend is The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. That one sp specifically speaks to finances and how to better manage your finances. And it's completely contrast to how we live our lives today. But the people that follow his principles are wildly successful and extremely wealthy. Um, what other book we got here? Let's see. The Millionaire Mind is a great book. Um, also one recommended by Dave Ramsey. See, you have all these people, all these authors are highly successful, and they're willing to share their knowledge with you. So um, why not tap into that so you can be more successful? But the millionaire mind, you know, we have a perception of what millionaires are in our society. And believe it or not, the average millionaire in our society doesn't drive a BMW. They don't drive Mercedes. That's just perception. That's Hollywood. That's TV. The average millionaire in our society drives a Ford F-150 and lives, ex lives extremely modest. Um, they're not wildly intelligent. They're not top of their class. They're just hardworking people who have developed solid saving habits, um, which will blow your mind. And it shows that, you know, uh, anybody can be a millionaire. What else we got? Um, the CEO of Beachbody just recommended The Curious Mind. Uh, being curious, which is talked about in the slight edge, is a component of being successful. People that are constantly wanting to learn are curious. So I'm going to read about curiosity. So, but um, you don't have to read a lot. You just have to read 10 pages a day. And what I found in doing that, I make it a point to read 10 pages a day along with my workout. There's a few non-negotiables I have every day. Um, I work out, I drink my Shakeology, I do my personal development. I journal, I have a journal that I write in. Um, actually, it's this one right here. I take notes of what I learned in my personal development because when you write it down, you will be more apt to remember it. And a great idea that I got from reading one of these books is to make a, to make a journal and, and have something to pass off to your wife and kids. So I recently got one of these like leather bound books from Amazon. It's really cool. Um, it's like actually made with like hand, hand paper. So anything like profoundly cool that I, that I read, I write it down in the book and then one day I'm gonna hand it off to them. Uh, something that stood out to me. And what greater gift is that? I mean, something that you think is cool. They may think it's stupid later, but I think it's cool. Um, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my lineup of books. That's how I read. And um, there's a lot of great information out there. And even if you don't like to read, um, I listen to, instead of listening to music on the way to work, I listen to podcasts. Um, and you've got audio books. So three times a week, I make it a point to listen to a sermon of my favorite pastor. Um, I listen to uh, Shalene Johnson. I listen to Adam Carolla because he's funny and he always talks about grit, which I think is a, just a fantastic characteristic. Um, and uh, what else do I listen to? I listen to uh, Shanti's podcast because it's very motivational. Um, but I, I'm always trying to seek knowledge. And the more knowledge 
I didn't used to. I used to listen, listen to talk ra- talk radio all the time. It was constant poison. It was all news. I was listening to the news, talk radio, and I would just get so angry. And now that I've cut most of that out of my life, like I keep tabs on what's going on in the world, but I can't change most of it. But what I can do is develop myself. And by reading these books, by reading this book has completely changed how I perceive life in such a positive manner. Um, so I can't recommend it enough. So. It's been over five minutes. I'm blathering now. You're probably, you probably already turned me off. But um, I just wanted to share what I'm doing and my recommendation. So if you're new, compound effect, the slide edge, read the total money makeover, read the Bible, because that is the best personal development book that's ever been written. And um, yeah, so have a great day. Bye.